What's going on, y'all? So let's What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of Ambitions, bitch. Let me just tell y'all, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Oh, that ending. First of all, this episode, this season one, episode seven, Poison and Wine. Let me just tell y'all this. Y'all over there at own slash ambitions, y'all got to stop ending the episodes the way that y'all ended because I be gagging at the end for real, for real. Like tonight, I was sitting here like, what? <laughs> like seriously? Okay. See, that's how you keep us coming back because we know it's going to be some mess each week. All right. And, um, baby, it be mess each week, okay? Listen, listen, they better bring this show back for a season two because I'm going to be mad. I'm going to start right if they don't, you know? But, um, girl, Stephanie, right, uh, uh, um, uh, Evan finds Stephanie up in the house just passed the fuck out, okay? Because Carly gone. Carly gone over there to Paw Paw, okay? Paw Paw and, um... And, um, Miss uh, Rondell, okay, you know, she's staying over there for the night or whatever. Stephanie just passed out. Evan found her on the floor, and she was like, he was like, Stephanie, you okay? I said, no, she ain't okay. She ain't moving. She just laid on the floor. She ain't sleep, okay? You think she gonna, if she was that tired, you think she gonna pass out right there on the floor like that? Nah, bruh, she go to the bed, you know what I'm saying? But at this point, he take his phone out, and he was like, 9-1- I said, bruh, what? <laughs> he put that phone on top of her. I said, I know you are not hesitating. She could die. I mean, I know y'all got some contentions and stuff in your relationship, but dang, okay? But at this point, Stephanie kind of like <clears throat> coughed and woke up a little bit. And it was like, Stephanie, Stephanie, you okay? She was like, no, no ambulance. Just call our doctor. I said, girl. Then we get over there to Amara and um Titus place, girl. You know, they just got through having coitus, okay? That's six for some of y'all that don't know the word, you know. And um, she got to get over there to the office. Titus trying to get another round in. I said, Titus. Give her vagina a break, okay? I know y'all trying to make up for some time and, you know, some energy that was lost or whatever. But no, she was like, listen, listen, baby, as much as I want to do this with you, and I really want to do this with you, but, you know, I got to go to work, okay? I got stuff to do. I got this case. I got all this stuff or whatever. He was like, all right, you do what you got to do. Baby, he took that towel off, and all I saw was top of his ass. I said, hold up, and his V. I I said, uh-uh, Titus. You know, that ain't my thing, but you could at least show us your ass. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, I'm an ass person, male or female. You know, you got a nice ass, I'm going to say something about it. Baby, at this point, they about to get it in. She was like, oh, so you're going to have all of Titus hanging out like that? I said, oh, all of Titus hanging out like that? Okay, you know, she put some length on that shit. I said, okay, Titus, you you, you got a whole other person down there. All right, that's cool. But um, at this point, they're about to get it in. And so, there's a camera in that little thing on the little um, decoration on the wall. I said, God damn it, Damien, in the bedroom too. Oh, so he got it all over the house, okay? That's what I'm just going to figure out, that he got it all over the house. This brother is just... A mess and obsessed. Now, at this point, by the end of the episode, yeah, we figured out that Stephanie didn't ask him to do all this stuff, okay? Stephanie said break up the relationship, but not be on creep mode like this, okay? You know, um, over there at Rondell's place, or I should say Thelma's place, you know, um, Diddy, Diddy over there going and, um, you know, taking money out the cash register and stuff. And, you know, at this point, he was walking away. He finna go play the lotto, okay? Trying to get rich, bitch. I, too, need some money, okay? I just... <sighs> anyway, come back. I'm back. I'm back. Girl, it it hits you. It just hits you out of nowhere. You be like, I can relate. I can relate. Mm-hmm. And then he just pauses. He just pauses and was like, oh, my God, Daddy, what's going on? And he zones out. And Rondell trying to talk to him and was like, listen, listen. Then he snaps out of it. He was like, you know, I'm okay. Don't be hollering at me and all this stuff. So, of course, Rondell go talk to Evan to tell him to go to the doctor because, of course, he's not going to listen to Rondell. He, um, he got to get pressure from Evan to tell him to do what he needs to do. And, you know, he said he was going to go to the doctor. But, of course, like Ron, uh, Rondell said, you know, he not. I'm gonna go to the doctor. Meanwhile, Carly then came over there. Um, 
back to the house to see what's going on with Stephanie. Oh my God, mom, I'm just so sorry that I left you like this. Oh my God, I should have did that. I'm so sorry that we had to, girl, it's okay. They're back on us, be back on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, um, I just, I just, I just really didn't care for your little friend. He was like, I don't care what you are and who you do and all this stuff. I just don't care for that little girl. He was like, what are you talking about? Listen, that little bitch called me something. That little bitch said some nasty stuff about you. That's why I had to slap her ass. Okay. Um, what she say? Don't worry about it. I care not to repeat it. Listen, mommy, see, you were full of shit, okay? Now, see, you said that you was here for me and all this stuff, but you're not really here for me. I said, Stephanie, first of all, it did surprise a couple of us that Stephanie was okay with Ron D um, uh, um, Lil Carly being gay or whatever, being lesbianics, okay? And so, I was like, you know what? But y'all are down in the land, so it's a lot of that going on down there. We already know. But at the same time, when you look at it, Stephanie looked like she'll do whatever she got to do to get to where she got to go to so that means if it's a nigga or a bitch she'll probably do it too okay she did like she munched on a couple of or at least had her box munched on by somebody with some long hair probably Marilyn. you know i'm just i'm i don't know you know what i'm saying Evan come up in there saying so i, I thought you didn't do drugs so what is drugs doing in your system she was like girl what are you talking about you got opioids all up in your system and all this stuff oh you know who did that you know who did that that bitch Lori, okay, we got into it at the little bar, the little gala the night before. She did that. She did that. Oh, so you got into it with her? You assaulted her? You did all this in public? Girl, at this point, you know, they got to go. She got to go down there to the um, company anyway. So she going to uh, try to get her revenge and stuff. I said, oh, snap. At this point, I'm sitting here like, Lori didn't do that. Lori didn't um dose that girl, okay? It'd be too obvious. Too obvious for a pure boy to dose her to make her seem like she did, you know, to basically mess up her own case and her own image or whatever. If that ever get out that she had those opioids in her system, okay? You know, um to me, I feel like my boo Marilyn did that, okay? She was just tired of her shit, and I support Marilyn, you know what I'm saying? Marilyn, you had to do what you had to do, girl. I'm putting it out there in the universe. You did what you had to do, okay? She was trying to come for you, and you sent her, and you sent her right back. You sent her to the flow, okay? If you did it, you know? If you did it, I understand. If not, I apologize for putting that on you, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you did it, you know? I feel like you did it. Who y'all feel like those to ass? But at this point, speaking of Titus, he's over there talking to uh, Arden, who works down in the um, lab or whatever. And Arden is talking about how um, he feels as though Purefoy targets black communities, especially the poor communities, poor minority black communities, you know. And um, I was like, you know, at this point... That does happen because we've seen corporations do this time and time again, especially like when it's, you know, junk food and when it's alcohol and beer and stuff like that. They do stuff like that. You know, they target. Y'all saw Fighting Temptations, okay? They did a whole presentation on it. Y'all saw it in Cuba. Okay, girl, get with the program. But if you, you can just look it up and you can just know. You know, okay? Um... <clears throat> So, of course, Titus got to look into this. Uh, also, um, Bella up there fucking around with Roderick. Roderick said, listen, oh, Bella and Roderick. Bella and Roderick just, let me just get them out the way, okay? Bella and Roderick just gets on my nerves at this point. You want to know why? Because, you know, Bella, she doing what she got to do. I, I, I realize that she's just doing what she got to do to survive, okay? That's what I feel like. You know, at this point, she like, hey, fuck it. I'm in this situation. I might as well ride it out and do what I got to do to, um, you know, play whatever size I need to play. Because she over here messing around with Roger, getting him all hyped up. I said, his ribs are broken. So you really just finna fully sex him out like this? That's what y'all really finna do? Okay, I mean, you finna full-time love him? That's fine. If that's what you want to do with your vagina, not mass. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, she was like, do you got the stuff? It was like, yeah, I copied the video on three different drives and I got it here and I got it there and all this stuff, whatever. And at this point, you know, um, somebody knock at the door. It's Damien. Damien like, oh, where Roger Johnson at? Roger should be here with you if he's stupid enough not to be here with you. I said, stop flirting. Damien, stop doing that. You know, so Roger came to the door. Looked like he was naked. I said, you know, we couldn't see him. We couldn't see the bottom. But I said, uh-uh, go put some clothes on. Uh, he had to, you know, put his force out there like, yeah, this my woman. Okay, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I said, go put your shirt on. 
<laughs> Go put your shirt on. Put your nips away. Kids watching. Okay? Well, they shouldn't be. Y'all got y'all kids watching this show. Put their asses to bed, bitch. Okay? Go in the other room. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, basically, he... Karen then put Damien on the case with um, Amara and they sit down there at the office trying to talk about how he got the black eye, what's going on, why he was coming for the um the, the mayor, the mayor the way that he did. And he gave a lie talking about something he promised him to be in some type of campaign, but he didn't and all this stuff. They weren't falling for the BS, okay? And at the when when they uh um uh, Roderick left, uh Amara was talking to um uh, Karen. Now Karen, girl. You know that I already told you this. I told you I don't like nobody on my case and I don't want him on my case specifically. Okay. Karen said, listen, girl, you forget that I'm your boss. We've been good girlfriends for a minute or whatever, but, um, you know, you're getting a little bit too lax. Okay. I'm your boss. You're going to do what I say. Okay. So y'all going to work this stuff together. All right. And that's what it's going to be. Okay. Let it the fuck out. You know? And so at this point, they going down there to the patent, um, to the, uh, permit office or whatever, and trying to come up with how these permits and stuff been getting through so fast. And, of course, it's Greg Peters' name on there and all that. And, oh, boy, was getting pissed off with them. Tired of, you know, I've been doing, I'm going back to my legal job. I said, all right, sir. Do what you got to do. Put your foot down and clear your name, okay? But, um, you know, they having a little conversation. He was like, listen, we had some good times when we worked together. And, listen, let me just tell you something. You give me too much credit about me being good. And when the reason why we did so much together and we got so much done is because you were good. I said, uh, uh Amara, Amara, listen, boo boo, don't fall for the bullshit. Don't fall for the bullshit. And then Titus called, you know, and she thinking like it was really funny what he was saying on the phone, which it wasn't. Okay, so Damien leaves. We don't see Damien for a minute, okay? You know, um, we're going to put a cap on them for right now. Ty, uh, uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Titus, Miss Titus, Miss Stephanie and Titus going to see the judge. She trying to get a summary judgment. He said, you can cap that, okay? And you can hold off until we get to a trial. That's what we're going to do, all right? And then, you know, she go over there to the pure voice, okay? She see Lori. She talk about some girl, you finna go down for what? Attempted murder. Bitch, I didn't do shit to you. That ain't even my style and all this stuff. Woo, woo, woo. Titus come down there like, listen, we had a little thing that we was supposed to do tonight, um, today, but we gonna have to reschedule because this is a little bit too much going on. And then, you know, Lori go over there to Titus trying to see what he was gonna ask about, you know, if he was gonna ask about what Stephanie was talking about or whatever, um, but of course he didn't, but she brought it up and she said that she didn't do it. That's not her style. That's not what she would do. We get that. And he also looked into the whole thing about the Pure Ford, uh, company marginalizing African American or other minority communities with, uh, opioids. Because like Roger said, you know, they call white folks when they die or when they become addicted to stuff, victims. But then they call black folks addicts, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, you know... Yeah, that's what they call it, you know. And so she was like, see, I told you, okay. And I was just sitting here like, Lori, I, I just, I just, uh Carly had to go over there to see Lori and was like, listen. <laughs> First of all, Carly told Stephanie that she loves Lori. I said, girl, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> We really need to sit down and talk. Like, <laughs> I, we really need to sit down and talk because, baby, you're doing too much <laughs> at this point. You are about to U-Haul like a mug. Okay, now let me tell you something. In the lesbian community, in the lesbian world, let me tell you something. Fall in love fast. This is real true. This is what they're doing with Carly's character. Her being naive and gullible. This her first time out in the water. This her first time playing with fish like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, getting the taste and be like, oh, seafood. Crab legs. It tastes good. It tastes just like scrimps. You know what I'm saying? It's true. It's true. Okay, put a little butter garlic sauce on there, girl. Bomb. Put a little bee love sauce on there, too. Pop. Bomb. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Listen, <laughs> this is true, okay? You haul like a mug. 
something about women and our emotions, you know, just fall real quick. And that is what Carly is showing you, especially the fact that she's very young. She's naive. She's gullible. This is her first time out, you know. And so she's thinking that she in love, baby. You're in lust infatuation. That is what you're in at this moment, okay? And so while all of this is happening, she talked about something she in love. You're not in love, boo-boo. And I'm just sitting here like, girl, you're about to be taking advantage of. You're about to U-Haul. You ready to move in with this bitch. That's going to be the next thing. We're, we're in love. We're ready to move in. And then she was like, what did you tell my mom? <laughs> she was like, girl, the thing that I said about you was that I gave you so many more orgasms than your daddy ever gave her in a whole in a whole marriage. <laughs> it's true though. It's true though. Listen, why don't we go home to your apartment and let me return the favor? I was like, you know, do what you got to do. Get your nuts off. But girl, calm down. <laughs> Pull that U-Haul truck back. Go take it back to the storage. Okay, take it back to the facility and get a refund. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. But uh, moving on from that, Daddy. Let's get back to Daddy. Okay. So Diddy, um, Rydell was about to go out and go do some stuff. She had to come back because she left a credit card. So she go upstairs to the house trying to get her credit card. Girl, she hears some, uh, I said, uh, uh, I'm thinking, you know, daddy got health problem. I'm like, oh, please don't let nothing happen to him. Bitch, she opened up the door. I see it. First of all, Diddy, you too damn old to be doing this. Okay, with the door unlocked. Daddy is on top of some lady from the church, bitch. Deaconess Lulin, whatever the fuck her name is. I said, Deaconess. Mm, I hope y'all using protection. He was getting it in, okay? And then right after that, I said, damn it, something happened. He had a little mini stroke. I was like, oh, no. And the whole thing, the whole time when they was doing their thing, and then uh, um, <laughs> his lady friend was like, Brontel, Brontel, something happened. This whole time, I'm thinking of that scene in The Color Purple when she went up to, Stevie went up to um, her um, stepdaddy's uh, um, <laughs> widow and was like, how he die? And she was like, on top of me, <laughs> bitch. It just ran through my. I know I wasn't the only one. I wasn't the only one, girl. I wasn't the only one. Listen, I like the fella. I said, uh uh, don't take Diddy out like that. Diddy was just trying to get it in. He said, listen, I may not be a young man, but bitch, I ain't dead yet, okay? And I don't need no pills, all right? And, um, Miss, uh, Miss Lady Friend said, listen, you'd have had a little mini stroke. you supposed to be taking these pills for your pressure, okay? Now, until you start taking them pills, Shop is closed. And she put that hat back on. She said, you ain't getting in this. Okay? And she put that goddamn mother of the church hat back on. I said, what is going on? That is like my, oh my God, that is like that time. I told y'all this story before, but for y'all that don't know, we was in the store one time. The metal detectives went off. My grandma was like, I said, Grandma, what the hell happened with the metal detectives? Oh, it was just some condoms. And it was some KY jelly up. It was some lubricant. I said, ew. You know, we forget that old people still have sex, but you don't want to think about it. You don't want to be reminded of it. And you don't want that visual aid of it. I said, condoms and ooh, lubricant. Grandma, and I just be looking at them like, y'all still fucking. I always be like that when I get your age, but damn it, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just don't get pregnant. Oh, well, yes, why the condoms? Okay, because listen, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. My grandma didn't went through menopause already. Thank God. Ooh, cause y'all know shit can happen. But anyway, moving on from that. Um, so he went on here, took his little pills, went out on a little date. You know, took her to the little Georgia Aquarium. Uh, uh, pussy wetter than this aquarium. No, let me stop. I shouldn't have said that. It just, it just popped up. It just popped up, and that's Florida. That's Florida. But um, anyway. You know, she was like, you know, with the beluga whales, when they born, they gray, and then they turn white when they get older. You need to look at the Discovery Channel, for real, for real. I said, all right, Miss Lulu, go ahead and tell us what you got to do. Okay? And so, um, listen, what else was going on in this episode? Girl, it just feel like I've been talking for a minute, and I'm catching all the points or whatever. Um, let me fast forward a little bit. Amara gonna get, I feel like, I really feel like Amara is about to get caught up, okay? Um, Titus and her was sitting there having a little conversation, and she came clean to Titus, okay? She, oh, shit. That's what I missed. Before we get on there, because I'm going to um, end the review on um, Titus and uh, Amara. Bella. Roderick went down there to see Evan. 
Okay, at the office, like he all big and bad with his glasses on and everything, trying to hide that um, you know, a little bruise on his face, or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, whatever, boy, you threatening him, talking about something, you better give me the money or else, bruh. This man has your ass beat, and he been doing a whole bunch of stuff, and you really think that this gonna this gonna end well? No, boo boo, no. Okay, this like these little veil threats that you throwing out here. Evan really is about that life, okay? Now he got goons too. Like, he really is about that. But the whole family is about that life. You just don't know, all right? And so at this point, I'm sitting here like, Evan, um, Roger, this ain't gonna end well with you. He, she, he over there with, um, Bella. She like, oh my God, we got the money. It's in the room, in the safe and all that stuff. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. Bitch, Evan popped out. You really thought that you was gonna get this money? You really thought you was gonna get this money? Right after he just gave her the copies of the tape. All the copies that he got. I said, damn it, bitch, you are so dumb. And I said, Bella, so you just, you know, who can loyalty lies? I guess this is with Evan. So what what was this? Evan fucking around and got her this little gig with this uh, fashion lady in this fashion house or whatever. Gonna make her the face and all that stuff. She's like, oh my God, papito, thank you so much. And I'm sitting here like... <laughs> Now, Titus and Amara, Amara come clean to Titus and was like, listen, baby, I just need to let you know that, you know, at work, they got me working with Damien on this case. And it's not that I want to work with him. You know, I voiced my concerns to Karen multiple times, but, you know, she's not budging and it's work and, you know, it's nothing going on. And I just want you to trust me. He was like, it's cool, baby. And I get it. You know, we've been going through some stuff and I understand I've been putting a little bit of pressure on you and I get how you, I should be thinking about what you have to go through at work and whatever and not add all that stuff. You know, I'm just improvising. See, let me tell you something. When you, um... I ain't going to say I'm an actor or an actress or whatever because I'm not. But when you can come up with stuff and improvise stuff on the spot and it sounds good and it sounds like it's supposed to fit, you know what I'm saying? That shows you got some talent. Hint, hint. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, you know, because I do what I does and I does what I did, you know? And so at this point, <laughs> she was like, um, she stepped out and she was, um, no, she was sitting there on the computer. And he made it seem like everything was all good, like he trusts her and, you know, it's no worries and all that stuff. Bitch, next thing you know, he looking at her as she typing in her password. She go to sleep. He gets up, take her computer, go into the living room, typing up on her, on her computer. Oh, I said, baby, this is a whole bunch. Of, this is federal. This is a whole federal federal crimes, okay? You are committing a whole bunch of illegal shit right now. Going through her emails, going through Damien files, taking pictures of where he from and his address and all this stuff. And I just said, oh, Jesus, mind you, Damien is sitting at home in his bed watching, sniffing Amara's drawers. Listen, I, I, I ain't never been too hooked on, you know, I ain't never been too hooked on no, no woman. No woman that I would be sitting there sniffing their pants. Like, no. No, I don't. I'm sitting here like, you know what? I am done. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode, and I will see y'all next week. Put down in the comments. I'm pretty sure. Listen, Marilyn did that shit. I don't care what nobody said. Marilyn drug, um, it's it's the person that we least suspect. Bitch, if that's the case, Carly could have did it just because. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Marilyn did that. Put down in the comments who y'all think poisoned her. Girl, Marilyn, I get it. <laughs>